Greetings, my fellow developers. How are thou doing? <laughs> I'm just messing up, but what's up, guys? Um, in this video, I have found a Git repo with all the community extensions of Sh Shatsy and UI that I feel like would benefit you in your development, in your application building. There's some things here that I've noted down that I've liked, that I've saved, I put in a folder that I will be using when I develop applications from here on out. Now, I will link the GitHub repo down in the description below because there's a lot of stuff. I've only picked a few of the things that I like. So let's get into it. First and foremost is a file uploader. Now, this is made using ShatCN, but there's also an example where it, you know, without react hook form and then react hook form and i'm a big user of react hook form so this is fantastic so i could just upload some random picture document whatever and it's all there and i could do the same thing um here which is pretty nice and i, I kind of like the ui i can i could copy paste this adjust the width and just use this at as is so this is fantastic it's by sadman um again i'll have all this stuff linked down below so you have an uploader, again, built with Shatsy and UI. Now, this is a phone input. And what's cool is you can put a legitimate number and it will tell you that this is a valid phone number of this area, of this country, whatever, whatever. So let's get, so I just pasted that number and look at the validation. I get that it's a valid number. That's a possible number. Country, US, the international number, national number, country code, all this stuff. And again, built using ShatCN. You can click this button, get to the GitHub repo, copy the code, use it. Simple, easy. We love it here. So next, you have React DND Kit using ShatCN UI, and this is your standard Kanban board using ShatCN UI. And like this is very clean, very smooth. Again, if you're using ShatCN, might as well use this. The code is in the GitHub repo. Um, and then you have sortable. I can imagine this being used like in an admin dashboard where let's say how you arrange um, this affects the data that's being shown to your users or customer or whatever. Um, and then you can just rearrange this, delete, add stuff. Very clean, again, made by Sadman. You should check Sadman's GitHub repo because a lot of banger stuff there. And then you have date range picker. Um, now, I know there's one already in chat scene, but what I like about this one is this one has a compare feature. So if you're doing something like Stripe with payments or whatever, and you want to compare stuff, this is a great add on. I also do like the last 30 days this week, all that type of stuff. Now, the one thing I would change, and again, because you get the GitHub repo, you can change this, is the spacing here. I'd probably make this a little bit smaller, but so far, so great. And then you have enhanced button, which is enhanced versions of the chat CN button component. Now check this out. Oh man, that's that stuff right there. This, this alone is worth you watching the video. You're welcome. I'm glad I showed you this. Time picker um, is just a different version of uh, the date time picker, but this one has time. I've used this for a project before. Uh, it's reliable. You can use it, check it out. And then there's this one called uh, components.bridger.to. This is basically, you know, hero section, CTA, FAQ. Now, this one's very fancy dancy, but it uses chat CN. So check it out. Again, all these will be linked in that master repo. In particular, I'll be honest, I do like the hero sections, especially this one right here. This one's very, very clean. Again, you can get the code right there and there. Very simple, very easy. And then you have credenza. I don't know what credenza means, but what I like about credenza is it's a modal component, right? But when the viewport is mobile, it becomes a drawer, which I like because modals on mobile are kind of weird, especially the chat CN one. It gets a little weird. I like the drawer. And then you have country straight drop down. This is like, for example, like you can search, um, you know, Australia. And then you get all, you know, all the states, provinces, whatever you call it. And I could just pick that. So again, something simple, but a lot of the logic is done for you. So just plop that in. And then you have plate. This is a text editor. I don't know if this uses tip tap or not, but it's a very clean text editor. I might use this for my open source project, Tafi, which is a multi-tenant uh, blog platform. Um, I might use this because this looks very, very clean and very, very polished. But now you can check it out. And then you have Neo Brutalism components. And these are just like very cartoony, cool looking components. Like you have the, 
you know, the alert, the avatar. So basically all the chatsy and components, but in this style, which is pretty cool. This could be a vibe for a site that you're building, right? And basically all the components are here and they look very, very nice. You know, they have a certain feng shui to it. Um, but if you know, you know, this looks very clean. And then you have the chatsy and stepper. This is awesome, um, especially for like some sort of form or uh, maybe onboarding, like step one, next step two, next step three. And then we'll, all steps are completed. I like that very much. And then you have this called planner, which is essentially like this giant calendar planner. And then you have these events that you can drag and drop. Um, just thought it was pretty cool, something you can build on top of. And then there was Shatsy and Cal, which is uh, Cal.com's um, calendar component built using Shatsy. And so this is pretty sick. You have the code. All of this is in the master repo down below. And then you have capture photo, which again, this is a basic dashboard. What I like about it is when you click capture photo, it pops open this camera. And if you're on, if you have an iPhone and a MacBook, you can actually like use your iPhone. And I just thought this was pretty cool. Like this is me right here, um, which is pretty sick, right? And then you have chat scene and multi select, which again, pretty cool. Like, and they, I don't know if this bouncy thing is part of it, but you can clear it here and then you have another fancy multi select which is a nice to have in my opinion that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this video again the repo that contains all of this stuff is down in the description down below enjoy it check it out i thoroughly love finding stuff like this because it just makes my development time much faster because at the end of the day i'm just here to build cool stuff that users enjoy and make some coin in the process but i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like comment subscribe hit the notification bell i'm dropping a lot more content the next couple of weeks believe me you're going to want to be subscribed and as always thank you for the support i will see you in the next one peace